Hey there, today we're going to talk about how to make this header bar. So as you can see, this consists of a couple pieces, uh, this little color piece here, and this line, a logo, and some text. So it adds a nice little header to your dashboard page. So let's get started. So if we open up a fresh dashboard, what we're going to do is we're going to put a vertical out here uh, just to get started. Uh, how I like to use containers is once I put a container in there, depending on what it is, so we have a vertical here, so I'll put a top and a bottom text in here. It just makes navigation a little bit easier when you're putting stuff on the page. Uh, so now it gives us that little line to kind of drop stuff on. Um, so for our header bar, our orientation of all of our pieces is horizontal. So we're going to put a horizontal piece in here. And then we'll put in our text, so we'll left. We'll make this a little bit bigger. And right. All right. So now that we have our right and left in here, that tells me this is our horizontal on the page. Uh, we're going to put in a blank here at the beginning. Uh, to get that colored, we're going to go to Layout and change the background to whatever color. Let's use this blue. Uh, then we're going to switch all of our outer padding to zero. And once you do that, it's nice and filled in here. <clears throat> so that's going to be our leftmost portion. So we can actually delete this left text right now. Uh, and then we're going to want to change the width of this bar. So you can set it to whatever you want. Um, Let's just try 25. So now you see there's a, the first piece of our header is this little bar. Uh, the next piece is the text. So I want to keep that right text as the rightmost piece in the header uh, while I'm laying stuff out. So I still have this little section to drop stuff on. So let's call this example dashboard. Make that a little bit bigger, semi bold, 20, black. There we go. So now we have our text. The final piece in the first horizontal is to do the logo. So we're just going to go out and select a logo for us. Let's just kind of throw something in there. So now we have our logo. And now that we have the whole header kind of built out, we can remove this right piece. Uh, we'll want to change the size of our logo to get it to fit. So depending on your logo, you may want to make it bigger or smaller. So there we go. And because we've got the top done, we can remove this top portion. So now we just need to add the line underneath the header. So to do that, we'll just add another blank right here. So we want to make that the same blue color. You can see there's some you know, white space around the edges. So to take care of that, we're just going to change our outer padding to zero. Then we're going to hit this drop down, edit the height, make it real small, something like two, one, somewhere in there. So now you can see we have our header created. So it consists of this horizontal piece with a, a blank, a text, the logo, and then the next piece is just a blank underneath that in a vertical container. And that's the entire header. So if you want to make this a little bit bigger, you can, something like that. And that is how you, you build out that header.